Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as a commenter on my channel recently said, it's been about two years since I posted something. Um, life has gotten in the way and, and all that stuff. And you know what, I, I realized something. Um, life gets in the way if you let it. And obviously we all get busy with stuff, but this is a hobby, it's supposed to be fun. Uh, I'm still down here working on the layout from time to time. Um, but some things started to hit me as, as I was uh, looking at the layout. Um, life is about convenience sometimes. And there are times when I come home from work or finish doing something, and it's not convenient to sit down and, and run the layout. Uh, I have a tendency to cover it up when it's not in use, or I know it's going to be a period of time uh, between uses uh, just to keep the dust off, stuff like that. Well. That keeps me from running it because, well, then I got to take all the plastic off and, you know, possibly clean the track up and stuff like that. So I'll end up sitting down at the computer and playing online or doing whatever instead of working on the layout. And that pushes the hobby to the, the back burner. Uh, it's not any fun. And then it just kind of becomes a, a stationary nothing. So. I started thinking about, you know, easy projects that you can do and knock out in, in a, maybe in an evening or a couple evenings. Um, just stuff that you don't have to spend hours and hours on. Those are great. I love those projects. You know, I have a lot of those on the channel. If you go back and look at different things that I've done over time. But uh, some of the fun projects that I, that, you know, can really make an impact on your layout are the little things. Weathering some cars, weathering a new engine, um, detailing a scene that you've already kind of put in most of the scenery in, but now it's time to go back and put in the, the little the little details and things like that. So I want to start trying to do more videos like that. Um, I've got some products recently that I, I kind of want to showcase that I really enjoy. Um, for instance, these new 8K pencils. Um, they're uh, just weathering uh, pencils and uh, you know, I, I won't go into detail with them now because, uh, well, I wasn't prepared to really talk about them. Um, but I, these these are great. I use these to to weather up a, a cotton belt engine that I that I purchased recently. Um, but today's video, now that I've talked, and and you'll know that if you've been on this channel for a while, I'm long-winded. Today, I took a took a drive out to Hiawatha Hobbies, a local hobby shop for me, one of my favorites, and I stopped in. And I picked up the new DT602 throttle. Um, you know, these have been kind of talked about online, and everybody's done a review and an unboxing on them, and it's been out for a while now. But one of the things to the convenience factor of running the layout is I've, I've never really enjoyed my throttle that I have for this layout. Um, it's a, uh, the DT400. Um, so as you can see, what I did is I ended up buying um, just larger knobs for it from, uh, I think I got those through DigiKey, um, and then and modified them, which, which I like. It, it gives it a little bit of better feel um, and ends up kind of giving you that, that same look. Um, but what I've always not liked about this is the buttons. The, I don't know if Edutrax has ever come out and admitted that they have the debounce on these buttons. When you press it and it registers it twice, every single one of these buttons has that. This throttle's had this since day one. It's not a, a joy to use, and, it, and it's another thing that's like keeps me from running the layout, is I can't stand this thing. It, it just, it's, it's a pain. You know, I'll, I'll, get a, I'll get an engine up to speed or a contest up to speed, and then I'll let it run because, well, hey, I got there. Um, and I have a smaller handheld that I like using, but this thing has just been a pain. So, long and short of it, I'm hoping that this is an inexpensive fix to that problem. Now, you could say, why do you stick with Digitrax? NCE makes some quality product. There's some great, you know, other products out there now. That is true, and I could, um, but I'm kind of invested in the Digitrax system. The system itself works great. It's just the throttle. So come along with me. Let's see if this can help 
you know, kind of boost the enjoyment a little bit. See what happens. Okay, yes, we're going to do a quick unboxing, um, just in case you haven't seen these before. Um, so that's the, this is the wired version. I don't have uh, wireless. I'm, I'm not big on needing to always change batteries, and to be quite honest, my layout isn't big enough that requires it. So I went with the wired version. Um, it was uh, 150 from Hiawatha Hobbies. Um, so, wow, quite the, quite the manual, actually. Um, will I read it? Probably not. I'll just, you know, hunt my way through and, and see what I can. Um, so it does come with a, well, quite the lanyard. Um, so that's kind of nice that they include that. And uh, a uh, six pin, um, essentially a phone cord. Uh, I may redo these. I've never been a fan of the, you know, the coiled version on my uh, current um, one of my throttles I just rewired up my own and I kind of like that better um, so here's the throttle itself it's not much to look at uh, maybe I should take it out of the plastic all right so I know this doesn't keep with unboxing videos on the internet everybody always uses some giant bowie knife to unbox stuff well I'm gonna use an exacto knife because it's what I've got all right so here it is unpackaged um, these straddles do have a, a detent in them um, every uh, every click and uh, I actually kind of like this throttle it's a UT4R it's radio equipped um, but uh, if you watch one of my old videos I bought this kind of an accident um, that's a whole nother story uh, but this is actually one of my favorite throttles uh, one because I really like this uh, switch to do direction um, but it also has no detent it's just smooth um, the whole thing it does have a stop um, you know so it does have limiters on on either side and then I just wired it up to be a wired throttle um, and this is probably what I'll do is I'll make a cable uh, similar to this for this guy here because I don't like the coiled cables okay so uh, I did have to reference the manual um, but uh, <laughs> what I didn't realize is that these buttons down here seem to kind of almost have a rocker uh, approach to them, uh, a left and a right. Because if I uh, hit that, it takes me back um, there. So now I'll track on. And now the track is on. I have uh, 6001 on left throttle, top on. And that's consisted. I usually run them around the layout at about, well, I guess it'd be 35%. On the old throttle, it was just 35. Um, so I guess that's 35% of the throttle. And so now you can see the train coming around. So one thing I guess I'm not real thrilled with is how quickly it turns the screen off. Um, I mean, it's plugged in. I, I mean, I'm not on battery. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into how we go about changing that. Because um, I think that that's just a feature that I'd rather have this on all the time. I, I, okay, the, the one plus of the DT400, that screen's always on. Now I get it. This is a little bit different of a screen. Um, but, you know, I, I'd rather display dimming um, to idle. You know, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather that not do that. So let, let's look into how we go about uh, preventing that. Okay, so I did some research. Uh, in the manual, it just says that the screensaver uh, is there for, uh, to be environmentally friendly. Okay. I don't want to make it sound like I'm not environmentally friendly, but uh, this display doesn't use a whole lot of power, especially when you consider the fact that the the your layout is still running. Um, so you can see here it it powers down kind of quickly, in my opinion. I I, I don't like that. Um, so uh, if you go in here and then uh, utility tasks, 
and throttle option edit and there's several pages here so I actually already went through and I um, changed some of them so if you go back up here so if you use the left you scroll through and the right will change the state and by default uh, the key clicks is on um, the RF, IR, I turned all those off. I, I'm not going to use this wirelessly, so I figure ah, let's turn those off. I kind of like it without the key clicks too, so I turn those off. Uh, and then here on the second page is the LCD power save delay. I was hoping if you set it to zero that it actually would turn it off, but it doesn't. Um, sometimes that's the default setting and uh, it'll turn it off on that, but it didn't. So, uh, instead, uh, let's see if we, I think you can set it to six there. Yeah, seven. Seven is the, the max we can go. So we'll, we'll put it on seven and, and see what that does. I don't know if that's 70 seconds, uh, you know, but uh, let's see what happens there. Um, other than that, uh, nothing else really noticeable there. So uh, let's exit to, to get out of here. And we'll see how long that takes to now power down. Uh, hopefully it's a little bit longer. I guess I can learn to live with it. As soon as you touch the throttle or any of the buttons, it wakes back up. And it doesn't transmit those. Um, it, it just wakes the display up. So not the worst thing in the world. All right, so a little operating, uh, just to just to get a feel for it. Like I said, I don't like the DT four hundred one, um, and I'm hoping that this changes that. So uh, we'll do a little switching in the yard here. I've got a train on the main here, uh, so I'll get them going around with one of the throttles, and I'll bring uh, the local in to switch the yard and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so some closing thoughts on this throttle. Uh, I mean, I didn't use it a ton, uh, but my initial experience is it's easy to pick up, it's easy to use. Uh, I, I don't have a lot of experience with other manufacturers, like I said, NCE or, you know, I, I've tried the Wi-Fi throttle on the, on the phone and I, like a lot of people, it, I, I just, there's no feel. I, I need the, the control knob um, to, to really, I don't know, feel connected. Um, what I do like about it, now I have, I have big hands, um, but this curvature um, that they built in, Yes, I know people have called it the, the lady figure, um, but I will say that what I really like about it is, is it does allow you to use either hand and, and control the throttle with a thumb. And they've, they've made it such that it sticks out just past the body, and uh, so you can roll your thumb on it on, in either hand, uh, you know, ambidextrous kind of, uh, which is really nice. 
Um, the only thing, and I, I've seen this complaint from a few people, and I'll probably have to get used to it, is that uh, sometimes it can be hard to see um, and pay attention uh, to which unit you're running. Um, that is the one advantage, say, to like the, the DT-401, is that it would display the local that you're running below the throttle that you're that it's assigned to. Um, where this, it shows it right in the center. Um, it'll take some getting used to. But overall, um, I like it with the sound off, personal preference. I wish the screen would stay on a little bit longer. Uh, but overall, I, I really like it. Um, I think it was a good purchase, and, and to be quite honest, I, I hope that it adds to the enjoyment of running my layout, which the 401 really didn't. Um, and that's really what it's all about, is running the layout. Um, so love it or hate it, um, I like it, and I think it'll, it'll contribute well to the layout, and, uh, and there, it powered down. I could do without that, but oh well. Alright, well that was my review of the DT602 throttle. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm definitely going to put some time in with it and I hope uh, again that it, it helps me run the layout a little bit more and a little bit um, easier and with less frustration. Because um, that's what this hobby is supposed to be all about is uh, having fun and, and relaxing and, and enjoying it. So. I can't promise that I'm going to shoot videos all the time, but I hope to get some more content out there again. Uh, like I said, I want to get some little detail projects and small things that will contribute to the layout and, uh, and, and just you know draw your eye to different items and, and things like that. It's, it's, the layout is overall almost done, um, so now it's time to really start digging in on the, on the details of things. So. Thanks again. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one.